Hello everyone. Hi, my name is Jesse Schmitzer. I'm the Athens and Hawking County Mobility Manager with Hawking Athens Perry Community Action. Uh, as part of the Athens County Public Library's How To Virtual Fest, I'm going to be talking to you today about how to ride Athens Public Transit, uh, the fixed route system that services a lot of different areas in Athens County. Um, so Hawking Athens Perry Community Action, uh, we operate about five different divisions, uh, housing and community development, they do weatherization, home repairs and rehabs, uh, community services division does a lot of heating and cooling assistance, uh, employment education, things like that. Our child development uh, division operates six different Head Start facilities in the Tri-County area. And our food and nutrition division is the Southeast Ohio Food Bank located in Logan uh, that we operate as services a 10 county region in Southeast Ohio. But uh, the one we're going to be talking about mostly today is our transportation division. So in our transportation division, we operate five different programs. Uh, the first one is my program, the mobility management program. The other one is Athens On Demand Transit, which is a door-to-door -door service in Athens County uh, that goes anywhere in Athens County, $2 one way for anyone. Um, Athens Public Transit, which is what we're really going to be talking about today. Uh, Go Bus, which is the inner city bus service that services um, all the state of Ohio. And Logan Public Transit, a door-to-door -door service uh, in Hawking County, very similar to Athens On Demand Transit. Um, so first, uh, my program, the Mobility Management Program, I'm here to help you and do things exactly like what we're doing today, learning how to ride transportation, learning what transportation options are. Um, and there's about 35 of us across the state of Ohio, as you can see with the map uh, on your screen. So if you ever need any assistance with transportation, please feel free to reach out to me or reach out to any one of the mobility managers in the state of Ohio. We are here to help um, you, to help your organization or your business with transportation needs in the community. Um, so just a quick update with COVID-19. Um, what I'm going to present to you today would be how Athens Public Transit normally operates. And um, there's a couple things uh, right now that are different, uh, such as hours, days of operations, and a couple new passenger policies because of COVID-19. Uh, so please keep in mind uh, that this is changing daily and to make sure to check Athens Public Transit's Facebook page uh, to get the most up-to-date um, uh, hours of service and days of service um, and things like that as we get through this together. Um, so what I present to you today is how it normally would be, uh, but make sure you keep up to date with uh, how it's gonna be with COVID-19 to keep everybody safe in the community. Um, so Athens Public Transit, look at that beautiful bus. So I'm sure you've seen them around. Uh, they operate six different lines, which we're gonna look at really closely today. So first, the question we need to answer is, where does Athens Public Transit go? And when does it go there? And then we're gonna get into the step-by-step -step of how you would ride the bus. Um, so let's just get an overall view of where Athens Public Transit operates in Athens County. So if you see right here, um, the Athens uh, Public Transit logo, this is the Baker Center uh, bus hub, which is just right down in front of Baker Center. There's a bus shelter there. Every single bus comes through the, this station. So this is kind of the bus hub of the entire system. So just kind of starting from there, we're going to just look over, we're going to look at these more closely. So just to give you an overview, there's line two, uh, the red line, is, there's East State Street going down there and it comes back down. Line three, the yellow line, which you can see it goes down East State Street and then it kind of comes back down Richland to Andover. Line four, which I like to call the inner city bus line, uh, goes past the libraries, more through the neighborhoods, uh, and then goes over into the west side Central Avenue area. Um, then we have line five, which is the dark blue line, goes down Columbus Road, gets on 33, and then gets off at the Plains exit, where then goes through the Plains in 682, and then continues back to the bus hub where it continues in that same direction. Um, line six, the light blue line, which goes the opposite way of line five, but goes through 682 in the Plains. And instead of getting on the highway, it continues through Chansey uh, to Job and Family Services, and then continues down to Columbus Road, back to the bus hub and around again. Um, and then our newest line, which uh, we started last year in August, is line seven, the green line. So line seven has two buses that operate on it. It services Nelsonville and the village of Albany and then again meets back up at the Baker Center bus hub. So this is kind of an overall view of the entire system so you get an idea of where it goes. So let's take a little closer look at the stops and how you can read the maps um, and yeah let's jump right in. So the first one that we're going to be looking at is lines two and lines three. So this is a map that you can get from me or you can get from Athens Public Transit um, for free. It's a great way to uh, keep track of what the times are and how, when they operate. So if you look right here, it has uh, the times that each line operates. So line two operates 7.30 a.m. to 7.15 p.m. Um, and line three, as you can see, operates a little later to about 10 p.m. 
uh, on weekdays and on Saturday. Both are closed on Sundays, so there's no operation on Sunday right now. But let's take a look first at line two. So again, here we are at the Baker Center bus hub, and line two is going to take off from there, where it's going to go down Court Street, get on uh, East State Street. It's going to go all the way down to the Holder Clinic, turn around, come back down East State Street, um, where it's going to go down Congress and keep going. It's going to turn on the roundabout there and go up to the ridges and then back down and then go up to Campus Heights, turn around, go back to the bus hub and continue on. So each Athens Public Transit line is designed to take one hour to operate from start to finish. So if you look at the stop here, for example, let's look at the Kroger stop where it says 42 for the red line. That means that at 42 after the hour, every hour line two is in operation, it's gonna be at the Kroger stop. So that's never gonna change. It's a really easy way to remember the times you need to be at certain stops. Um, so let's uh, dive into line three. So line three, the yellow line, Kind of works in unison with line two. So it goes down East State Street. It doesn't go all the way to Holzer Clinic. It turns around at Market on State, uh, comes back down, goes down Congress and West State here, uh, continues down, goes up to Campus Heights, but then continues on to go to Berkeley and Andover Road, where it turns back around and continues going. So line two and three are the lines that operate a lot on East State Street and down Richland. Um, you can see here, uh, transfers are free if you're connecting to any line except for the newest line, line seven. Um, so let's keep going. So line two and three, let's take a look at line four. So line four is the purple line. And I know this map looks a little wonky, but that's because there's some long-term construction going on right now. Uh, so this is kind of our temporary map so folks know uh, where the route is. So you can see up here the hours, line four runs later, like line three, so about to 10 p.m. Again, no Sunday service at all. So let's take a look, leaving from that bus hub at Baker Center. It's gonna go past Morton Hall and Stuart Palmer over past the public library, down to Walmart, to Market on State, where it turns around, and then come back that same way past the library. It's gonna go down past Morton, but then continue down Congress, uh, down to the west side of the city, where it goes to Central Avenue, turns back around, and then goes back through and continues again. So again, looking at these, if we look here, when is it gonna be at the public library? If you're going towards East State Street, it's gonna be there one after the hour, every hour. But if you're trying to go back into town, it's gonna be there at 26 past the hour every hour. So you can kind of tell by which side um, these numbers are on and pay attention to the way the arrows are going to. Um, so line four, so let's continue on. So line five and six. So five and six work kind of in unison with one another in an opposite way. So I'll show you in a second. So if you take a look here, line five, here's the hours of service, weekdays and Saturday. Um, line five is a dark blue line. And one thing I wanna point out before we get line five on the road here, is if you look right here where we have the gray area, this is what we call the flag zone or the hail zone. So what that means is, that, is if you're in the hail zone, you don't have to be at a specific bus stop uh, for the bus to stop and pick you up. You can be anywhere on this route and wave the bus down and it will stop for you in the next safest area. You can also stop, uh, request the bus to stop anywhere in this area, it doesn't have to be at a designated bus stop. Um, so this is mostly outside the city of Athens for safety reasons, but it's marked on the map. So you can take a look and if you have any questions, you can give me a call or Athens Public Transit. So line five, leaving from that bus hub we talked about at Baker Center, uh, starts off down Court Street, then goes down Columbus Road into that hail zone, gets on the highway where it gets off at the Plains exit, goes down Connaught and Bean Road, down to Hickory Creek, and then continues down uh, 682, to Oblenis Hospital, it then goes up to the Innovation Center, turns around and comes back down. So line five is continuously going in a loop, whereas lines two, three, and four, we kind of saw went back and forth with a line. Lines five and six are circular and they always go in the same direction. So how that works is line six, which is the light blue line, you can see the hours right up here. Uh, let's start line six off from the Baker Center, goes down up to Central Avenue. You see it's going the opposite direction as line five goes to Oblenis, up 682, continues on up to Chansey, into Job and Family Services, goes down Columbus Road, and then comes back to the Baker Center bus hub. So you can, as you can see, they kind of work in unison with one another, going in opposite directions. So pay close attention to these if you're uh, trying to learn how to use them, as uh, you, know, you wanna be sure you're going in the right direction and getting on the right bus. So the next line we're gonna look at is line seven. There's two separate maps for line seven because it's such a big line servicing Nelsonville and the village of Albany. So line seven, seven N, which is for Nelsonville. So you can see here are the times, weekdays and Saturday we have right here. 
Um, we're starting again at that bus hub, the Baker Center bus hub. Uh, it's going to go down Court Street, down Columbus. You see the flag zone we talked about where you can hail the bus. It gets on the highway and gets off at Hawking College where it goes around campus, goes down Canal Street and Public Square past the library in Ohio Health, and then gets back on 33 and continues back down to the Baker Center bus hub that we talked about. So going through Nelsonville. And again, this is designed like all the other lines. It takes one hour to complete. So it's going to be at the same stop at the same time every hour that it's in operation. So let's look at the other side of this, line 7A, which is the Albany side of the line. So here we are, the hours are the same, weekdays, weekdays and Saturdays. And again, starting at that bus hub at Baker Center. So we're gonna be leaving from there, going down Court Street, coming down Congress, uh, going down the highway where it's gonna continue and then get off right here in Albany, go through downtown, past the library. It's gonna go under the highway here on the other side, go down Reynolds Road, past Alexander Schools, back on the highway, and then back up to the Baker Center bus hub to do it all again. So again, you can notice, note the flag zones here where you can flag the bus anywhere. It doesn't have to be at a specific bus stop on the map, or you can request the bus to stop anywhere in this zone as well. And they'll drop you off at the nearest safe area. So now that we know where the bus goes and when it goes there, let's look at a couple more things before we jump into the step-by-step -step instructions. So what about fares and passes? Great question, virtual audience. So fares and passes for the general public, one way is $1. So it's $1 to get on the bus no matter where you're going or how far you're going. Um, if you're a senior and individual with disability, you can get a pass, which I'll talk about here in a second, that gives you 50% off of your fare, so it's 50 cents if you pay when you get on. Um, one thing to know is drivers don't carry any change at all, so please make sure you have the exact amount if you're paying in cash or with coins. Um, there's no way they can give you change, they don't carry any at all, so keep that in mind. Um, so for the passes I talked about for seniors and individuals with disabilities, um, anybody can fill this out and get one. They're free to get. So as long as you qualify, you just need to fill this out. You go up to Athens City Hall, which is at 8, 8, Wash 8 East Washington, so right across from the parking garage there, um, and go in there with this filled out, and then with a picture ID and cash, or, or well, not cash for this one, it's free. Um, and then they'll go ahead and put your picture on a little ID that says you have uh, the discounted pass. And every time you get on the bus, bring that with you, show it to the driver, and you'll get that discount that we talked about earlier. Um, so there are other passes as well where you can save money if you're riding the bus pretty often, and you can get them the same way you would get the discount pass if you're a senior and individual with a disability. Um, you would need to go up to Athens City Hall, that same building we just talked about, bring a photo ID and cash or check. So you currently can't pay for any of these with cards. Um, but this gives you an idea um, if you can buy a day pass where you can ride all day, a 30-day ticket, which doesn't expire, you just use it whenever you get on, they punch a hole in it. You can get passes for 60, 120, and 365 days. You can see here's the regular fares. If you're a senior and individual with disability, it's half off all these. And we also have a couple youth passes uh, that are pretty cheap too. Um, so uh, the last thing with fares and passes is the OU Bobcat Pass. So if you are faculty, student, or staff at Ohio University, you can ride Athens Public Transit for free by just showing your Ohio University ID. That will work as your pass. Um, there's unlimited rides, there's no limits with that. Um, so uh, technology. So we have some really cool technology to help you use Athens Public Transit the best way that you possibly can. So the first one and my personal favorite one is the Double Map app, which is free for anyone to download onto their phone or tablet, or you can access it on your computer. Um, and the Double Map app, as you can see, uh, looking over here, you see APT, all of the lines are on here and all the buses are on here. This is a live tracking app. So say you're waiting at a bus stop and the bus is running a little late, you wanna know where it is, you can just open this up and it'll show you exactly where the bus is and when it's coming to your stop. So this is really handy um, you know, to have and it's free, so why not download it? Um, the other piece of technology is Google Maps. So this is something I typed in and just took a picture of on my screen here. Google Maps, you can type in, for example, I just did Baker Center to Walmart. And if you look up here, there's the car directions, a bus, a person walking, a person biking, and an airplane. So you want to type in where you're going to and then click this little bus icon here. And what will pop up is what you see right here. It will give you the bus directions. So it'll give you the time you need to be there and the time you'll get there. This is really helpful if you're transferring between lines. It tells you how long you need to wait and when the next bus is coming. Um, and you can also uh, manipulate right here the day and the time that you need to leave or the day and the time that you need to arrive at a specific location and it'll figure all that out for you. So this is a great planning tool 
if you're trying to ride Athens Public Transit, we're helping someone do that. Um, so highly recommend this. Um, currently, Line 7 is not integrated onto Google Maps yet, but we're working on it, so hopefully soon. Um, there's also multimodal options. So there's two bike racks on the front of every Athens Public Transit vehicle. They're really easy to use. There's actually step-by-step -step, step instructions on the bike racks themselves. So don't be intimidated. The drivers are happy to help you if, if you need help getting your bike on there. But it's a great way to kind of get that first mile, last mile exercise and then ride the bike. Or if you ride the bike and it starts raining at work and then you don't want to ride it back in the rain, you can take it on the bus. Um, so let's get into the steps. So step one, you want to map out your trip. You can do this in the ways we just talked about. You can look at those APT paper maps I showed you with the times for each stop on it. You can also do Google Maps like we just talked about. You can look on Double Map. The stops are on there and it has where the buses are. Or you can call APT or call me for help. Say, hey, I'm trying to get to here from here. How do I do that? And what time do I need to be there? We're more than happy to help you out. So once you map out your trip, you want to don't forget your fare. So Bring exact cash amount if you plan on paying in cash. If you have a discount pass, if you're a senior or an individual with disability, you need to bring that with you to show the driver so that they know you have the discount pass and are paying the discount price. Um, and if you have prepaid ride pass or tickets, make sure you bring those with you. Um, and if you're an OU student, faculty or staff, bring your ID so you can show that and ride for free. Pro tip, don't forget to bring enough for the ride back. I have done this before numerous times, not just in Athens, but in other places I used to live. Uh, just a pro tip so you don't get stuck where I was stuck walking. Uh, definitely bring enough for your trip back. Um, and if you're transferring to line seven, which does not offer free transfers, um, to make sure you have all that stuff with you before you leave the house to get to the bus stop. So once you have all that, you want to go to the bus stop. So make sure you go to the bus stop on the correct road in the direction that you want to travel. So for example, if you're leaving from, let's look at this one right here. This is the bus shelter that's located in front of the Walmart in Athens. If you want to go to Holzer Clinic, you can definitely get on on this side and then ride on down to Holzer Clinic. And then, uh, you know, it'll turn around eventually and come back. So you, you're not going to get too lost. But if you're kind of in a hurry, you need to go to the other side of the street if you're going in town and go that way. So make sure you get to the correct stop and the way you want to travel. So some Athens Public Transit stops have shelters and some have signs like the one you see right here. Um, you can stand underneath the sign. You can sit in the shelter. Um, some don't have anything. So for the hail zones, for example, make sure that you're on the designated route. It can be anywhere. There's not going to be a sign or a shelter there for you. Um, but again, make sure you're checking double map for the live bus tracking if it's running late or so you can see where it is so you don't miss it. Um, so once you're at the bus stop and you see your bus coming, you're going to want to hail the bus. So don't be shy at this part. Let the bus know, you, let the bus driver know especially to stop for you because they might not stop if you don't hail them. Um, so make sure you hail the bus, let them know that you want to get on. Um, be sure some stops are for multiple bus lines. So make sure it's the correct bus on the signs uh, that are located on the bus. So look at this picture in the bottom left-hand corner. You can see their signs on the front of the bus, line two and line five. It'll also be on the side of the bus. So make sure you're hailing down the correct bus. If you hail down the, the wrong one, just tell the driver, not a big deal. I'm sure it'll be fine. They'll continue on you continue waiting for your bus. But just make sure you take note of that. Again, if you're in the hail zone, uh, make sure that you're on the designated route and you're hailing that bus. Again, check double map for the live bus tracking. That uh, comes in really handy. Um, so next, enjoy the transit adventure. So step five. So before you get on the bus, they're going to open up the door. Let disembarking passengers get off first, and then you can get on. So step to the side and let them get off first. Uh, when you get on, you need to show the driver your pass or your OUID. If you brought money with you, you need to put it in the fare box, which is located right when you walk in next to the driver. And then pick a seat, any seat, put in your headphones, get out a book, use some really great apps that the library has uh, that are for free that you could use while you're getting to your destination on the bus. Um, if you need to utilize the mobility ramp that's on each bus, please let the driver know and they'll put it down for you. Um, so once you start getting to your destination, step six, this is the funnest part, pull the yellow cord. So there's two yellow cords located, if you look down here in the left-hand corner, like this, along both sides of the bus. So when you're just about to get to your bus stop, you're going to want to pull the yellow cord. It'll do a, um, a dinging sound, and then a light will come on up front that says, stop requested. And that lets the driver know that they need to stop and let you off the bus. So buses don't stop at all the stops unless you pull that cord. So it's really important to pull that cord when, you, when you're there. Don't be shy about it. Um, it's so fun. I, trust me. I, I love doing it. Um, so if you're requesting a stop in the hail zone, the driver will pull over wherever it's safest. So it might not be 
the closest to where you want to get off, um, but it's really for your safety and they'll, they'll make sure of that for you. Um, and so that's how you ride. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. But just a side note, um, if you are someone that lives outside of the service area of Athens Public Transit, or you live close to an Athens Public Transit stop but can't get there because of a disability, you can call Athens On Demand Transit. They go door to door anywhere in Athens County for $2 one way. Um, they also accept the exact same pass for seniors and individuals with disabilities that make it from $2 to $1. Um, feel free to give them a call. They're, they're happy to schedule a ride for you. Um, these are their usual hours, so Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 8, and Saturday hours from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., and anybody can take advantage of Athens On Demand Transit. Um, so for the COVID-19 updates currently, as of today, which is May 6th, I believe, this is where we are, the current temporary hours of operation. There's no Saturday service due to COVID-19. Um, and there's no late night service, as you can see. So these are the current hours. You can find this on the website, AthensPublicTransit.org. Um, another thing to keep in mind is currently to make, to keep everybody safe, including the drivers and the community members riding, we have to comply with the governor's orders to keep a six foot di uh, distance between folks. So because the buses are so small, that means we're only allowed to have five passengers on at any given time. Um, so if a bus is full with five passengers and it gets to the stop and you're there, unfortunately, they can't let you on. You have to wait for the next bus. Um, and currently, all fares are suspended, and that's just to make it uh, so bus drivers aren't handling money. So we're really keeping everybody as safe as we possibly can. So that's how it currently is. But again, please check Athens Public Transit on Facebook for any daily changes or anything like that. Feel free to call them and ask them, uh, you know, what's going on. I know a lot of things are changing daily, so they're more than happy to help you out. Um, so with that being said, here's my contact information. Please contact me. I'm more than happy to talk about transportation. I'm pretty much obsessed with it. Um, and thank you to the Athens County Public Libraries for this super awesome how-to virtual, uh, virtual festival, I guess. Um, and again, thank you all so much. And hopefully uh, I'll see you on the bus soon.